Hey guys, this is Jessica coming at you with a new workout and this is all focused on legs using the bands I am showing you here. So starting out this workout, I am doing some exercise or some stretches, sorry. I'm stretching, warming up, I'm getting the hamstrings loose and um, that's where I seem to have most of my tightness is my hamstrings and sometimes the glutes. So I, I like to stretch and warm up for a few minutes before I do any leg exercises. So this workout that I'm going to be showing you today is very simple, very short. Um, I'm currently in the gym as you can see with this workout, but uh, you can do this workout anywhere you go. You can do it at home, you can do it in a hotel room, you can do it just traveling I know I've done banded work uh, using bands for my arms draw uh, like in a car my husband was just driving and I was you know doing some exercises in a car because I was going crazy and when you're traveling for many hours you want to get out and do something but um, so yeah they're just versatile you can use them anywhere and I really like them as you can see I'm still kind of stretching warming up doing some um, you know hip mobility stretching the hips out and this is really 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 um, for me it's really helpful before any leg workout it seems to do a lot um, and this uh, this position here I'm just rounding my shoulders you can kind of see uh, you, I'm rounding my shoulders and then I'm arching my back because this helps my uh, um, it feels like it helps my lower back because that's where I tend to hold a lot of my discomfort and strain in my low back so stretching out that and then stretching side to side so um, but the bands are they all have different weights and different sizes or different resistance so check out where wherever you get your bands from look at the um, the uh, the weight on it I'll try to link below you know where you can get some uh, some of these bands but they have the resistance um, the amount of how much weight approximately the resistance is okay so this first workout I am doing uh, it's a, I'm using a blue band so it's like it's a moderate resistance I don't remember exactly how many pounds it was but I have it rounded in a loop there so I have only a couple inches on both sides so it's really really tight and really resistive um, if I didn't do that loop in the center, it would be really easy to go up and down and it wouldn't have that much resistance. So doing the loop in the center makes it more challenging. I'm just going straight up and down, doing a squat. So you can do the squat without the bands. It's still challenging, but adding these bands makes it even that more, that much more difficult. So try this with the bands I'm holding on to these hand grips that come with the ba um, you know the band set with these I'm just focusing on my form focusing on um, pushing through my heels and kind of squatting down folk um, feeling it through my glutes and my hamstrings and I'm not going uh, knees over toes I'm trying to keep my uh, knees behind my toes so again I'm doing the same loop for another exercise this is exercise number two in each exercise I did three to four sets on each uh, each particular exercise and I did approximately 12 to 20 reps depending on how I felt so this is a deadlift I'm trying to keep my legs fairly straight and as you can tell I'm going straight down straight back up straight down straight back up so you want to feel this stretch nice little pull in the back of the hamstrings you don't want to feel any pain but you just want to feel a nice nice pull in the hamstrings and again my resistive bands are only a couple inches um, of resistance so it can make it really challenging when I'm pulling up and it almost makes you feel like you have a couple dumbbells in your hands in front of you
Okay, moving on to the next exercise, I am holding on to, uh, this is a lunge, as you can see. So I'm holding on to the band, I'm not having, I don't have a loop at all. I'm using the full band, I just have it underneath one foot, and I'm lunging backwards, coming to my standing leg. So I'm, I'm actually doing a back lunge, coming forward. As you can see there, I'm staying on the same foot for the entire uh, set. But you can't really see in this clip. It'll show you a little bit. I actually have my, I'm going up with my arms. I'm going, I'm not just doing the lunge, but I'm actually adding a shoulder press with this band extra, or with these, with these bands. So maybe, maybe you can see in the next clip. I switch legs. I don't really take too long of a rest. This is my first set of this exercise and it wasn't I wasn't too tired. I had just taken a rest. But if you need to take a rest in between legs, feel free to. Yeah, I guess you can kind of see that my arms are going up, but uh doesn't really show that very much in this clip either, but I have my arms going straight up above my head and that really got taxing. But moving on to the next one, we have a, you can see this is like a door jam stopper. This is, this is um, something that you can use bands and, you know, apply underneath the door as you can see right now. I'm just sliding it underneath and uh, it has that little rubber stopper so that it doesn't come out from the door, it doesn't slide, doesn't shift. And all I did was put the tube through this small loop. And this is a black tube. It's a little heavier resistive um, a resistance. And so I have the handles. You can see there the door, you know, the door jam device that it comes with. This is what it comes with in the in the case it's not going anywhere and you can do these exercises you know there's so many arm exercises you can do with that but as you can see I'm doing I it's a kind of like a thrust a hip thrust but it's a deadlift as well I'm leaning forward it's trying to focus on squeezing the glutes as I come up you can feel this in the low back strengthening your low back your glutes and your hamstrings. So this is a complete posterior chain movement exercise. It's really, really good. And I start to go into a squat um, here. So I add a little bit of a squat after I did a few sets or a few reps. I transition into squatting and doing this exercise. It was really, really, um, challenging and I stepped back far enough with this band so that I can feel resistance I don't want it to be loose and um, too easy so I just step back far enough so that there is a there is a struggle for me to pull that band very good all right so the clip is ending and I just like to thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate your staying tuned and if you have any other questions or if you have any if you know if you want to leave any comments go ahead and feel free to leave comments because I would love to hear anything that you guys you know want to see next I am open to all options for new videos and currently I am 29 weeks I'm just a day no I'm two days away from being at my 30 week mark so I'm very excited and I can't wait to keep putting out uh, new content and new videos for you guys because I do want to share my experience and what I'm doing exercise wise eating wise and you know how I'm staying healthy and you know bringing this little um, bundle of joy into the world uh, so stay tuned uh, I am going to be bringing you some more uh, food videos as well or some food videos so stay tuned for that thank you guys so much for watching I'll talk to you in the next one bye